One of the favorite practices of uh, so many groups around the world is called Paldan Gum. Paldan Gum is eight energy exercises from China and Korea that help to balance all the meridians or channels of energy in the body. You can do this playfully and also people can do it seated or in bed if they're not able to stand. So we start first with our hands in front of our bodies, move down to the earth, up over the head, interlace your fingers, press your palms upward and touch the sky. So let's do that two more times, breathing deeply and just feeling all the energy flows throughout the body, mind, and spirit. And just letting that movement go and if there's extra energy, just shaking off. One palm touches the sky and the other palm touches the earth. And now stretch a little bit more in both directions and you'll feel these currents of energy up and down your arms. These are your meridians awakening. Breathing, Breathing deeply, deeply, making, making a little, little energy ball. ball, changing sides. One palm touching the sky, the other palm touching the earth. And the other side. And as you stretch, just open up the rib cage and feel the oxygen coming into the lungs and just feel that overall sense of health and well-being. And the final side. And relaxing the hands and arms and just clearing. Okay, we're going to jump on our horse and bow and arrow and feel the strength of your back, the dignity of your presence, and setting your limits. Releasing hands and arms, a pivot around, and the other direction. And you can set limits and feel the dignity and strength of your own person. And the other side. And relaxing and shaking off. Hands down to the earth and open your heart and breathe down your arms while you look behind yourself. Breathe deeply and just let go of all the sadness in your heart. Uh, for some this is called dry crying, releasing the sadness and the grief that often gets blocked in the heart. Releasing hands and arms, a deep breath in. Breathe down your arms and just let go. This is a wonderful move for grief groups or people in bereavement. Releasing hands and arms, deep breath in. And just let go. Breathe down your arms and open your heart. And the final side, deep breath in. Breathe down your arms and just feel that lightness and freedom within your own heart and spirit. And letting the movement go and just clearing off. We're going to flex our wrists and our ankles, so up on our toes and back on our heels. And often we block energy in wrists and ankles, so if you feel popping or hear the sound of cracking, these are your bones and tendons and muscles loosening up. One more time, relaxing. Hands now on the waist and we'll do gentle waist circles down on the left and up on the right. Keep your eyes open to avoid a sense of dizziness and also always be very careful of your spine. Breathing deeply. And now we'll do just the opposite. So we'll go down on our right and up on the left. And again, opening up all the stuck areas of the body. One more time. And then hands go to the base of the spine and we'll stretch backwards and just open up all the energy centers of the body. Again, supporting the spine, the, the back, so that there isn't any injury. And gently releasing. 
And now the part that's just a little bit crazy, we're going to punch and shout. And as you punch and shout, feel all of the energy coming up out of your, uh, just the center of your being, releasing stuck words, releasing any stuck energy that often blocks with stress and trauma. And you can say different words depending upon the culture. We'll use the word ha. Some cultures use ho and other cultures use he. But I think ha will make it lots of fun. So fists upward, we turn the fist over. We're going to punch forward. Ha, 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 ha. Three times, ha, 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 ha. And at the end, the lions roar. <sighs> Relaxing the whole body. And then little by little, vertebrae by vertebrae, bringing the spinal column up straight. Put your shoulders back on the way your shoulders should hang. And just feel the difference in body, mind, and spirit with the exercises of Paul Dungum.